The Johannesburg Zoo is situated in the leafy northern suburbs of Johannesburg in Saxony and covers 55 hectares of land. The zoo was founded in 1904. You know the zoo is more than 110 years and in that regard you will need to be becoming modernized. Directions are changing in terms of how people interact with the zoo. As an animal collection specialist, I'm responsible basically for more than 300 uh, species that are in the zoo, 3,000 specimens. We participate in conservation projects that are run nationally uh, and internationally. When people come to the zoo, they don't go back without seeing animals. When one of the aspects that we did is that all the old walkways, as you walk in between enclosures and various areas, had to be renovated and put new walkways, basically. Looking at also adding some uh, recyclable materials that will be used as you walk in on those particular aspects, you see them in the zoo. A year ago, we opened a very beautiful aquarium for the people of Johannesburg. By the way, the best aquarium that has a tunnel, as you walk in, you can see the fish. For us to be able to keep that uh, into an international stand, you need to have an, a, a, a quarantine area where when, when fish are coming into the collection, they first go into that area. So the city has afforded an, an opportunity through the support of what we call EPWP, Expanded Public Work Program, that the zoo had an opportunity to engage with. Yeah, I worked for EWP for four years. And uh, my job is only to check for the fish and uh, to feed in them to clean the tanks and then the other thing to clean the places is where I do it every day. Uh, 42 uh, EPWP members that are currently working in the zoo, they come and do whatever we do in the zoo, they are part of us, they do. What they do is they go and clean enclosures. We have those ones that go clean and feed animals. They know how to deal with that particular uh, uh, environment. We are giving them an experience so that they can be able to be marketable even outside the zoo. It's a great opportunity for me. It's very nice to work with the animals, to work with the environment actually, because I came here, didn't know how to work with the animals because I was scared of them. I, I wasn't like the animals before, but now I got the chance for EP Double Food and they brought me here to join us. Thank you very much. Lukewarm water. We decided to, to, uh, to form um, Clean and Green Cooperative to, to help more young people in our community to develop uh, skills program and all. So um, that's why basically we started um, uh, forming Clean and Green and with five co op members you know, with one disabled um, member in our and this way we gave everyone a chance in the Ravali community to um, be on our program as well. I was actually scared of animals before, scared of working with animals, scared of being surrounded by a lot of people, so I learned a lot. At first when you come to work you think it's all about getting money oh but when you get here sure. and you find out what you are going to do, as time goes on you get entice them like you want to learn more about the animals and more about your environment and it's quite actually nice to be in that kind of position and uh, we didn't end there because of the history of zoo becoming popular to visitors around it therefore meant that uh, uh, when the number goes high uh, the uh, the parking space becomes a necessity and uh, we don't want to be almost in conflict with our neighbors. We want to be in good relation as the city of Johannesburg with our neighbors. So what we did is uh, we received uh, funding and then we are doing at least uh, two store park, uh, parking. Uh, we used to accommodate about uh, 300 vehicles. Now we're going to accommodate more than 700 vehicles. They don't want to come to the zoo 
and then you keep worrying about your car that is parked outside. Our hospital is going to be one of the best hospital facilities that uh, we're going to uh, open very uh, soon. Uh, we have extended, we have moved offices away from animals so that animals can have enough space. Yeah, this are the wards. These are the wards where animals are. And then uh, we have put an area where the viewing window. Uh, Zeus internationally basically are creating a situation where, whereby visitors can be able to see procedures that are performed on animals during uh, treatment. The zoo is open from 8.30 in the morning to 5.30 in the afternoon, 365 days a year.